Welcome to another session of Business Startup Training. Today we'll be looking at oil or crude. This is presented by Accounting Lecturer. By the end of this session, you'll get a better understanding of oil and crude in relation to business startups. Our objectives are, what is oil or crude? Who are the top producers and where is it located in the world? How can a startup benefit from oil or crude? And then we'll conclude. Now let's look at the top producers in the world. And this is in millions of barrels per day. So United States produces 15.6 million barrels per day. Saudi Arabia 12.1, Russia 11.2, Canada 5, China 4.8, Iran 4.7, Iraq 4.5, UAE 3.7, Brazil 3.4, and Kuwait 3.2.9. Uh, Where is it located in the world? Let's we, we're going to look at some other pictures and some statistics are 2015 and now we have about 20. Uh, 17, 18, so a little bit more recent information. So the United States is still in the number one spot with 11.6 million barrels per day. And um, Saudi Arabia is 11.3 million barrels per day. Um, Russia is 11.2 million barrels per day. Canada, 4.2. Uh, China, 4.1. Iraq, 3.4. UAE, 3.4. Iran, 3.3. Kuwait, 2.9 and Mexico with 2.7. Now this is an important picture because it gives us some information as to where the reserves are and what countries have the highest reserves in the world. Here we have the two countries with the highest reserves in the world is Saudi Arabia and Venezuela. They are both in black. So those are the two countries with the highest reserves in the world. Next we have Canada um, and Iraq and Iran. It's the next in the number two position in terms of highest reserve in the world. And then we move in the number three position we have Russia. And then we move to countries like United States and China and parts of Africa. But it's also important to note that Libya is in the number three position in terms of having high reserves um you know in the world and then you know other countries like brazil is tied with united states and china and um australia etc so yeah australia is slightly below in terms of in the, the, the area shaded in a, in a lower in a lighter color therefore it means that it has between a thousand to ten thousand barrels of reserves um, so again it's it's on the lower end of the reserve ratio now let's have a look at how oil price how the oil price has changed over the period from its inception in the 1940s so it was hovering around $16 per barrel. Now it's around um, 100, and, let's say it went as high as about just over 100, and now it's about 50 something um, barrels, uh, 50 something per barrel. So over the last 20 years, it's about, um, again, 45, nearly 50, and it's around just over 50 now 54 thereabouts over the last 10 years um, again it's in the 90s and it's quite lower now at 50 something so let's have a look at some statistics we know from 1946 the lowest it it was was 16.49 per um, barrel um, in 2008 is 165, which which means it's been the highest, you know, over the uh, period. So that's the highest. Um, but in recent times, the lowest has been 36.61, um, and the highest has been 130.68. The current value is 52.10. So, but let's look at some deeper analysis. 
Now, 5210, if we were to, that's 74 years ago, if we were to discount it at a, um, you con, uh, considering the rate of inflation, and let's say we put inflation at 3%, in real terms, 52.10 is actually $5.85, which is actually a third of the value 74 years ago. And if we were to use 16.49, and a rate of inflation of 3% moving forward into the future, um, the, the value should be 146.95 in order for us to keep it in line with the rate of inflation. So a value of 146.95 in real terms is a true value to actually keep in line with the rate over the period. So this is actually saying to us that it's more expensive now to produce oil than several years ago um, in terms of the, the cost of the, the, the margins are has drastically reduced and um, and so therefore if you are actually producing oil and it's taking and it's very costly it's best to actually um, stop producing um, in in areas where it is very difficult to to extract the oil and go to areas where it's easier to extract the oil. Once it's easier to extract the oil, then you're more likely to have a thicker margin than if you are going to areas where it's more difficult to extract the oil because the margins are so low. Now, if we were to do a future forecast, the worst case scenario, we could say maybe um, you, it could go down to $40 per barrel, which would not be good at all in any um, scenario. And best case scenario could be a um, hundred dollars a barrel, which would be a good margin from fifty two ten currently. Um, so yeah, that would be an excellent thing. But um, again, we, you know, it will be healthy from an investor perspective. But then market forces need to drive it, and and I think there, are, um, with Iran and all the various countries coming on board in terms of increasing their production, um, it's may like cause prices to go down which which means if it goes down then the margins are even going to be coming under pressure so um, there's a balance here that one needs to consider at this point but from an investing perspective I think margins are very very narrow so I would say one needs to be cautious because not there's not a lot of margins and uh, or, or, or unless you're highly efficient to get you know a, a high yield so what can we conclude oil is what is oil or crude we've looked at that um, who are the top producers we know United States and Saudi Arabia and right now Russia is in the top as well um, can a startup benefit from oil or crude at the moment I say a startup can but you need to bear in mind that the margins are very thin at the moment and and the volatility is also quite high it's been hovering around the 52 and had highs of 130 and it's also important to note that the highest was in 2008 of maybe 140 something i think and so therefore unless we go back to levels like that where again it was the precursor to a credit crunch um you might not get very good margins but then if you go to that level then you might have a crash eventually and the market may not be able to cope with that with that kind of price so um bearing all these factors in mind it's a cautious one at the moment because margins are are so thin um so i would say if you can do something else you know it'll be it'll be wise leave it to those who have been producing for many years um, to to benefit from it and um, yeah I think that would be a, is a cautious one at the moment in terms of investing like share subscribe thank you